gig with Melissa Etheridge. How did that come about? Oh, man, that <laughs> was the craziest time ever. I mean, I never thought I was going to sing back up or tour like that ever. I was like, okay, I'm a songwriter and I sing, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was writing with some different studios in the city, and I had known some of the guys from Platinum Sound, or uh, they're also Wonder Music, mm -hmm. and they were looking for a background singer for the tour, and I guess they had heard of me and Arden, uh, the key player, who mm -hmm. is now yeah. a friend of mine, um, reached out and was like, listen, we have a spot would you be interested in going on tour? And I'm like, oh, with who? And he's like, Melissa Etheridge. I was like, <laughs> because, I mean, I grew up four hours upstate from the city, like, a, you know, Whitesboro, New York. And Melissa was a huge deal to me. And she's like my go-to uh, karaoke song. And, I mean, I love her. Like, I, it was just, and so I was like, are you joking? Like, I thought it was a joke. He's like, yeah, wait for a call from a guy named Jerry Wanda. And I was like, yeah, right. Okay. Like I didn't tell anybody. I really thought that this was a joke. And Jerry calls me and I almost fell off my chair. He's like, I'm wow. going to need you to come to the city now. And I was like, now I'm in sweatpants. So I like, <laughs> hopped on a train. like it was like that. I was like, oh, <laughs> I literally hop on a train, go right to the studio. Everyone's there. And Jerry just sat down. He was like, listen, this is the deal. We're going to be gone six weeks. We're flying to LA in four days. You got to get it together. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and there was like, it was crazy. I was like, do you want me to sing for you? Like what? No audition? Like, yeah, not really. No. Oh. He was like, he already did his homework and, and, right. you know, heard me and stuff. And, and he was like, yeah, sure. You can sing something like, you know, whatever. Yeah. And I was saying, I'm the only one. And he's like, cool. Bye. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then, like literally we were in the studio uh, for like 10 hours a day. And then they flew us to LA to rehearse only two times with her before the first show. So it was crazy. And she was just the coolest, sweetest, human being I've ever met. Um, she's super down to earth, raw, real, you know, Yeah, and it's super insightful. And she, it was amazing. Yeah. I imagine you don't know what to expect. And then, yeah, you I mean, that was my first time ever doing anything really big, like with a huge artist. Yeah. I mean, I was nervous, you know, now that was your first tour as well. Wasn't it Jessica? My first tour. Yeah. I was the rookie on tour. I was, <laughs> I was the only one who's never done it before. Wow. So I was like, you know, nervous. I bet. Yeah. Like I was reading a little bit of your blog talking about those moments, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's so surreal. Like, um, the second day of rehearsal with her, I mean, she's just like so cool. She's like, Hey guys, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Like, and I was just still in this moment of, Oh my God, I was seven years old standing on the coffee table, singing your songs. And now I'm here. Like, yeah. And she was like, that's so sweet. And I'm like, no, but really, I'm, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>